What's going on guys? GTI am the Ty coming at you with another portion of Final Fantasy VII The Let's Play. Anyway, uh, we got some dialogue here on the screen, and obviously someone's asking if we're alright. Back then you can get by with just skinned knees. Is this someone that we know? What do you mean by back then? What about now? Can you get up? What do you mean by that time? What about now? Don't worry about me, you just worry about yourself now. And I have theories as to what who this person is, but uh, I'm not going to spoil it. Oh, it moved. How about that? Take it slow now, little by little. Hello, hello? I know. Hey, who are you? <laughs> and hello, hello. And obviously, if you guys have an idea about who that person was who was talking to Cloud, let me know down in the comments below. Um, no spoilers. Um, just give a name. I feel like the first name is more than sufficient. Um, I'll give you guys a little hint as to who I think it is. It starts with a Z, ends with a K. And obviously, if you guys are familiar with Final Fantasy, I... Um, you guys know who I'm talking about. If you're not, then, um, you have no idea. So, you okay? Hey, that's the girl we bought a flower from, right? This is the church in the Sector 5 slums. It suddenly fell on top of me, and it really gave me a scare. I came crashing down? From, like, a thousand stories! The roof and the flower bed must have broken your fall. You're lucky. How many roofs and flower beds did I crash through? I feel like I would die if I did that. Flower bed, is this yours? Resilient flowers. That's all I gotta say about that. Made out of, like, bungee cord. I'm sorry about that. That's alright. The flowers here are quite resilient, because this is such a sacred place. They say you can't grow grass and flowers in Midgar, but for some reason, the flowers have no trouble blooming here. I love it here. <laughs> and obviously, we are oblivious. It's like, why do women like flowers? And they because they smell good, I guess. So, we meet again. Hmm. <laughs> you ever had those moments where you're like, Crap, I don't remember that person's name? Uh, it must be one of those moments for him. Don't you remember me? Yeah, I remember you. <laughs> you were the slum drunk. No, you, you were selling flowers. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you for buying my flowers. Say, do you have any materia? Yeah, I got some. Nowadays, you can find materia anywhere. But mine is special. It's good for absolutely nothing. Good for nothing? You probably just don't know how to use it. No, I do. It just doesn't do anything. I feel safe just having it. It was my mother's. Say, I feel like talking. Do you feel up to it? After all, here we are, meeting again, right? I don't mind. I could be moody and say the other thing, but I'm like, alright. Wait here, I've got to check my flowers. It'll be just a minute. <laughs> and obviously she's checking it because uh, we landed on it. But these, I don't know what these flowers are made out of, but I want some. Because obviously um, I'm going to surround my house around them. So if I'm ever on the roof and I fall over, I won't die. I feel like that'd be kind of cool. But no flowers like that exist. At least to my knowledge. So just a little longer. Oh. Now that you mention it. We don't even know each other's names, do we? My name is... And obviously, you're gonna see that it says Eris right here. Um, I think that was actually a misspelling. Um, if I recall correctly, I think that the, uh, it's like a mistranslation. I believe her actual name is Aerith. So, uh, I'm gonna change it to Aerith. Um, obviously, if you guys... I really don't think it matters, but if you guys are, like, really, really crazy about whether it's Aerith or Aerith, I think it's, it's spelled Aerith, but it's pronounced like Eris, so it doesn't really matter. Um, the name's Cloud. Me, I do a little bit of everything. Oh, a jack of all trades. Yeah, I do whatever's needed. What's so funny? What are you laughing at? Sorry, I just... Sorry. Bad timing on my part. And obviously, I'll find out what this guy's up to. Cloud, don't let it get to you. <laughs> and obviously, I don't know what she means by that, but that is Reno of the Turks, by the way, if you guys are kind of curious. Um, say, Cloud, have you ever been a bodyguard? You do do everything, right? Yeah, that's right. Then get me out of here. Take me home. Well, this guy doesn't seem like a very good, nice guy. Okay, I'll do it. But it'll cost you. Well then, let's see. How about if I go out with you once? Hmm. Do it. You know, you, you know, if if a girl asked me that, I'd be like, all right. At first, I'd be like, well, she's really, really nice. Is she good looking? But obviously, um, I think Aerith fits the criteria for that. So yeah, could totally go on a date. I don't know who you are, but. Hmm. Wait. You don't know me. I know you. 
Oh yeah, I know you. That uniform. Hey sis, this one's a little weird. Shut up, you Shinra spy. Reno, you want him taken out? I haven't decided yet. Don't fight here, you're gonna ruin the flowers. <laughs> Women worried about flowers when guys are gonna have some heart-to-heart -heart man fighting. The exit's back here. Obviously, we'll head back that way. And, uh, I don't know why those guys are laughing. They're so, they're like a yuck, yuck, yuck. And uh, Reno's walking down. They were Mako eyes. Yeah, alright, back to work, back to work. And I love the Turk theme, uh, the music in the background. Oh! And don't step on the flowers! Hey, Reno, you just stepped on them! They're all ruined! You're gonna catch holy hell! <laughs> <laughs> I love he just stomps over all the flowers. And obviously we're gonna go ahead and hurry. We got Aerith in the party. I forget if she's in the back row or the front row to start. I think she got she still she got a bronze bangle, really? We'll give her the Titan bangle. Now she got like garbage abilities, and we'll give her um a little bit of restore, a little bit of lightning. Obviously they unequip the materia from Tifa and Barrett. Um actually we'll give her everything. Um just that way it levels up. We have random encounters, you know. Okay, anyway, we'll keep running, and obviously, here's exactly here we go. Here's a random encounter. I think we're gonna run into like hedgehog pies. I think that's what they're called. These are, like little round demon-looking guys. They're like gremlins. But obviously, yeah. The one thing I liked about Aerith is that she's probably like the the closest thing that Final Fantasy VII has towards a dedicated magic user in the entire game. Um, the thing is that. I think for the most part, Final Fantasy VII is extremely flexible in the way they operate, like the Materia system, um, anybody can equip Materia, basically every single character can attack, um, can do all the different things, um, but Aerith, um, her attacks always suck, and, um, and her magic has always been off the charts. I think her magic is actually better than Cloud's, which is, like, probably the only character in the game that actually has better magic than Cloud, so, actually a pretty cool character. There they are, over there! Cloud, that one! I know, looks like they aren't gonna let us go. What should we do? Well, we can't let them catch us, can we? And there's only one thing left. Heh, <laughs> jump 20 stories this way! Aerith, this way! <laughs> She's like, I'm not gonna jump, it's too far! Alright, I'll hold them off. Right, make sure they don't get through. The Ancient's getting away! Attack, attack, attack! Oh crap! Yeah! Aerith! Think we killed them? They shouldn't have put up a fight, I say. Oh crap. Cloud, help! It's like, damn. Damn, damn, damn. What's that? Hold on a minute. Um, if you can have her fight them or run, but, uh... I tend to think it's easy to just push the barrels. Um, I tend to push the barrel that's closest and then kind of screw up. But we'll go ahead and push this barrel. I, I believe this is the one that you're supposed to push over, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And, ooh, that hurts so bad. That hurts to watch that. Thanks, Cloud. But obviously, you know, just keep on chilling. I believe this is the next barrel you have to pull out. I haven't done this, this portion in a long time, but hopefully I push over all the barrels. The, the only thing that happens is that if, if you don't push the right one over, then, you, then she has to fight an enemy, so that's not too big of a deal. So hold on a minute. And then we'll go ahead and push this barrel over. I believe that's going to roll into the guy, so... There you go. And that is <laughs> so painful. Hopefully that barrel's not filled with something like whiskey or something like that, but... The barrels are so painful. Yeah, it's like, how, does Don how do those enemies in Donkey Kong even live when they get thrown... When they get hit by a barrel, right? Anyway, we're finding Hedgehog Pies all by our lonesome, but thankfully we got that Bolt Spell attached to the All Materia. So obviously that should, uh, make quick work of these guys, otherwise, you know, you're gonna be taking a lot of damage from these little munchkin guys, little devil hedgehog things. And I always love the motion that Cloud does when he does magic. I don't know if you guys have ever done that when you were little, um, when you, like, play this game way too much. I used to do that, and I remember I used to have, like, a little stick, and I used to try to spin it around, like, the way Cloud, um, spins around his sword, you know, like, and play the little victory fanfare. But, you know, maybe that's because I'm, like, really, really dorky. But, you know, if you guys ever did that, and you guys are cool cats like I am, then uh, let me know down in the comments below if you're, if you're totally nerdy. Because it's totally cool. Because uh, I'm, I'm totally comfortable with that. Cloud, help! 
hold on. <laughs> hold on a minute. Let me push this barrel. Hopefully it doesn't hit you in the face. Is that cool? Ooh, that's perfect. Aww. Thanks, Cloud. <laughs> Thanks. That's all you can say? Come on, lady. Hurry up. And I hope she can hop all the way over here. Obviously, Cloud's got LeBron James kills. That wasn't too bad. She does, like, high jumping kills. She should be on the high school track team. Eric, this way. And that is so dangerous. And they're running. Obviously, hurry back over here. And we should be able to get the heck out of here. I believe this is what you do. Here we go. And apparently, Aerith has other ways to get to us, but... <laughs> Anyway, we look massive compared to that, to the church, but, you know, everything's kind of weird to scale. <laughs> they're looking for me again. You mean it's not the first time they've been after you? No. They're the Turks. Hmm. The Turks are an organization in Shinra. They scout for possible candidates for soldier. This violently? I thought they were kidnapping someone. They're also involved in a lot of dirty stuff on the side. Spying, murder, you know. They look like it. But why are they after you? There must be a reason, right? No, not really. I think they believe I have what it takes to be a soldier. Maybe you do. Do you want to join? I don't know, but I don't want to get caught by those people. Then let's go. <laughs> Hurry along. I love how she runs, and she actually looks very feminine when she's running. I think that's really funny. Anyway, we can go ahead and move Cloud along. Some little jumping things. We're at this point, wait! Wait, I said! <sighs> <laughs> and you know, if you're anything like Cloud, you you know you do the little jumping thing. But if you're like Aerith, I feel like I'm a little bit more like Aerith when it comes to jumping. I do like the hopping. Oh, when you slow down, don't leave me. It's funny. I thought you were cut out to be a soldier. Oh, you're terrible. And uh, Cloud's gonna laugh, which I think is, I think this is the only time I ever see Cloud laugh in the game. But uh, hey, Cloud, were you were you ever a soldier? Hmm. I used to be. How'd you guess? Your eyes, they have a strange glow. That's a sign of those who have been infused with Mako, the mark of soldier. But how did you know about that? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Right, nothing. Come on, let's go, bodyguard. We're to keep on moving this way. And Aerith is going to keep on following us, but obviously she does not move as quickly as we do. Because we're like Speedy Gonzalez here. But obviously this is uh, more of the slums. Obviously, man, what a hellhole uh, Midgar is underneath the plate, right? And she's still taking her sweet time jumping, which is so funny. And it's like, whew, we finally made it off. Now what? My house is over here. Hurry before he comes. Obviously, um, it takes you back to the church if you go to the to the right. But uh, we're going to go ahead and save the game right here. I think because you run into random um, bad guys here, and the thing is that they're burglars. So if they steal an item from you and it's something valuable and you don't kill them and they run away with it, then you'll lose the item. So I might as well save the game just to, uh, just so I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. And we'll save up in the top slot. I'll, I'll like, alternate between all the different spots in case I like screw up a recording or, you know, the, my computer overload from a file being too big. But uh, anyway, we'll keep on moving to the left. And um, you can go to the uh, to this far area, but you can't get through there because people are blocking the way right now. So we'll just keep on going this way. And we'll go ahead and talk to this thing. That guy in the pipe's a weird one. No matter what you ask him, he only answers, uh, or, uh. You ever heard of the wall market? I've heard of Walmart. But, uh, nope. It's a market in the slums in Sector 6. They've got everything you could ever want there. If you can get there, that is, the road's something else. We'll go ahead and wander through here. And, uh... <laughs> this guy are sick. <laughs> wow, that's pretty fail. This guy is sick. He passed out nearby and someone must have helped him here. <laughs> this guy are sick. This game are awesome. I love little typos like that. I wish I could do like I, I could do like editing stuff for them. Ugh, ugh. Ugh. This is the one. Won't you help him? Ugh. Listen, I'm no doctor. I thought you were a jack of all trades. No, I guess not. Hey, that man has a tattoo. I think it's the number two. And obviously, yeah, if you guys notice that he has a tattoo number two, there's a reason why he has a number two, but you know, you'll pick that up as you go along with the story. But I love the little typo. I always feel like, you know, when you come across a typo in a video game or in, like, in a reading or something, I always feel like, man, I wish I could edit it. I feel like I could have caught like that little tiny typo. 
you know, if you guys ever feel that way when you're, like, reading a book or playing a video game, let me know. But obviously, apparently this is a materia shop, and I do not need to be here. Because I pretty much have all the materia I need. Um, I don't feel like wasting all the money. I feel like I need every single penny I can get. Especially for what I plan to do in the wall market. <laughs> Stare. Hmm. We can only trade items for gil here. I think that's what all shops do, right? Yeah, I will give you m items for money. But I mean, obviously, she had nothing of real value. I think if you go into this house, then uh, I think right here. Not for the news. Due to a terrorist attack by a group named Avalanche, parts of Midgard that were temporarily out of power will be restored momentarily. Following President Shinra's lead, Mayor Domino also spoke out public against Avalanche. Hmm, everything President Shinra says is a lie. But then again, you can't trust that Avalanche, or whatever you call him. You can bat it around all you like, but in the end, it comes down to wanting to be like those who live up above. So who do you believe in? Oneself? Me. I never lie to myself, that's for sure. That guy's full of crap. <laughs> Hey, we go up here, and the reason why we go up here is because there's a little flyer over here. Turtle Paradise News Number 1. Um, for delicious wine with a nice ring to it, stop on by per Turtle Paradise 1. And the reason why you do that is because, uh... Because you can get some really cool items. No one will find it. Ugh, top one, bottom one. Um, if you want to know what the heck he's talking about, you go ahead and go up to this thing right here. Hmm. <laughs> Open the top drawer, the bottom drawer, or the hidden drawer between the drawers. Hmm. There's five gil. You can take it or you can leave it. I like to leave it, because he'll give you an item if you leave it. He'll, like, invest it, because he's, like, a smart kid. But basically, what you want to do with the Turtle Paradise newsletters, I think there's, like, seven scattered throughout the game. Seven or eight. Um, if you find all seven of them, and then you talk to this one person in the town later on, then you get an item. And that's basically the reason why you'd want to do that. But we're going to keep on popping into these shops. You want weapons? Too bad. I don't got any weapons. <laughs> weapons stored over this way. This guy looks uh, pretty clean cut for uh, living in like a little trailer. I think I got some Titan bangles, so you know I'll grab one of those. I don't feel like there's no no pain. Nothing wrong with getting at least one extra Titan bangle. I feel like there's only two people in the party, right? So we'll get another Titan bangle. And I think I don't think we have any materia, so that's perfect. And we'll go ahead and pass through this area again, and I believe. Eris's house will be right over here. Um, before we go into there, though, we'll go ahead and walk over here. I love uh, Eris' theme, by the way. This is really cool. Here's some items over here. I think it's probably a, like, just a potion. Oh, that's an ether? I thought the ethers were green. But this is cover materia, which I think is like probably one of the most useless materias in the entire game. Unless you got like someone who is really, really good with defense, like Baird or something. I don't feel like um, the cover materia is all that useful. So I don't feel like really equipping it. It just makes it so they... They try to protect characters from physical damage, and you know, like, that's kind of useful, I guess, if you have a whole bunch of frail characters on your team. But I find this, like, more, um... I guess it's only good if you want to train limit breaks or something like that, because obviously the more you get hit, the more likely you're going to get a limit break and stuff like that. But we'll go ahead and talk to, uh, wander around in here. And I'm home, Mom. This is Cloud, my bodyguard. Bodyguard? You mean you were followed again? Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? I'm alright. I had Cloud with me. Thank you, Cloud. So what are you going to do now? Sector 7 far from here? I want to go to Tifa's bar. Is Tifa a girl? Yeah. A girl... friend? Girlfriend? No way or yeah, that's right. Ah, uh, I gotta be realistic. No way, Cloud's totally oblivious. <laughs> you don't need has don't have to get that upset. Well, that's nice. Let's see, Sector 7? I'll show you the way. You gotta be kidding. Why do you want to put yourself in danger again? I'm used to it. Used to it? Well, don't know get no no, getting help from a girl. <laughs> a girl? What do you mean by that? You expect me to just sit by and listen after hearing you say something like that? Mom, I'm taking Cloud to Sector 7. I'll be back in a while. It's taking way too long to walk down. But dear, I give up. You never listen once you've made up your mind. But if you must go, why don't you go tomorrow? It's getting late now. Yeah, you're right, Mom. Aerith, please go and make the bed. You know, how lucky for Cloud to have fallen from like a hundred stories. That glow in your face. You're from Soldier, right? Yeah, well, rather I used to be. I don't know how to say this, but 
Would you please leave here tonight without telling Eris? Soldier, the last thing Eris needs is to get her feelings hurt again. What the heck do you mean by that? Anyway, we're gonna head upstairs. And obviously, uh, Aerith is up here. Yeah, you need to get through Sector 6 to get through Sector 7, and Sector 6 is a little dangerous, so you better get some rest tonight. Cloud. Good night. I always, I always really like Eris as a character. I feel like she's really cool. I don't know. She's a cool cat. I feel like most of the female characters in this game is pretty cool. Or they're, or they're pretty cool overall. Oh, man. So, obviously, we gotta sneak the heck out of here. You seem pretty tired. Hmm? I haven't slept in a bed like this in a long time. Oh, yeah. Ever since that time. My, how you've grown. I'll bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. <laughs> Gotta be Cloud's mom. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temptations in the city. I feel a lot better if you just settled down and had a nice girlfriend. I'm alright. You should have an older girlfriend. One that'll take care of you. I think that'll be the perfect type for you. I'm not interested. <laughs> and ironically, I think Eris is actually a little, uh, like, a year older than Cloud. So, um, Eris fits the description, but, uh, I'll just leave that out there. Mm, I must have fallen asleep. Aw, oh, that happens when you lay on a bed, fool. Sector 7's past Sector 6. I should be alright by myself. Now, one thing you like, always like to do is you grab the potion, um, you grab the potion of Phoenix down, and now you don't want to hug the door. I think if you touch the railing, she hears you. And if you run, she hears you. So, you know, just kind of walk kind of try to avoid all the walls, and if you can make it downstairs, then uh, you don't have to worry too much about it, so... I think now that we're downstairs, we actually can run. And obviously, we're gonna keep on running. Oh, we have we lost a character, that's too bad. And I should have unequipped all the stuff from her, that sucks. But we'll keep on moving in this particular direction, obviously. We know how to get to Sector 6. It must be the other direction that we couldn't go through before, right? So, we'll head over there, but... Oh, what the, what the, what the hell? <laughs> You're up bright and early. How did you get here? Did you use a warp pipe? How could I ask you to go along when I knew it would be this dangerous? Are you done? We have to go through the slums in Sector 6 to get to Tifa's 7th Heaven. I'll take you there, come on! <laughs> Wait! Sector 6 is dangerous, you just said that, why are you running off by yourself? Wait! <laughs> but obviously, how the heck did she get there before we did? Like, did she teleport? Does she... Does she do like the the generate degenerate thing that they do in in Star Trek? Um, I don't know. Blows my mind. But anyway, um, all the bot, all the enemies in this area are actually pretty difficult. So I do think you guys should be kind of careful. I think this guy in particular is kind of dangerous. So you guys should be very very careful fighting this guy. Um, it's basically it's a it's a giant house and he hurts like hell. But obviously I'll fight him one time just to give you guys a little bit of a peek as to what he does. Um, he hurts a whole bunch when you actually break the house into pieces, but, uh, you know, keep on spamming your most powerful attacks. You know, like, 75 and 105 is actually pretty good, but he goes into suicide drop mode, and look at that! Like, I'm getting attacked by a giant house, and now he's got, like, arms sticking out of him? I don't... I don't even know what the heck this guy's called, I totally forgot, but, you know, this guy's pretty dangerous stuff right here. I'm looking at 92 damage. But obviously, that means that we're gonna be able to hit him with a Braver, and I get priority, so obviously, hopefully, we can kill him before he kills us. Um, I think I'll make Aerith just heal Cloud right here. But no need, right? But obviously that seemed that seemed pretty difficult. But I mean, like, but Cloud took like 150 damage and just in that thing alone, and you only got 44 experience, so it's not really very good in terms of equivalent exchange. I mean, I guess you do get some pretty good gil. Like 200 is not too bad, but I mean, that's a pretty tough boss. But to get through this thing, I remember I used to get lost here when I was little. But it's pretty easy. You just kind of follow what I just did a while ago. I don't know how to really explain that in a particular fashion. But I feel like there's a playground here. The gate to Sector 7 is right here. Thanks. I guess this is goodbye. Are you going to be alright going home? Oh no. What will I ever do? Isn't that what you want me to say? No, we can see her home or take her to Sector 7. Alright, come along with us. I could do that, but won't I be in your way? What do you mean by in the way? Nothing. Can we take a break? And I, 
I want to know how come the bad guys don't go through this, like, open gated area. I mean, like, there's no fence there, so how do they not attack the little kids playing around in this playground? But, I don't know. I can't believe it's still here. I think this thing looks pretty cool. I want to ride down on that slide right now. You, you guys ever have the thing when you walk through a park when you, like, want to go down a slide? I always get that feeling. But, Cloud, over here... <laughs> now, obviously, I don't know what that is, but instead of taking the stairs up, we're going to climb all the way up on this little backside. And we'll sit next to this girl. She seems to kind of dig us in a way. <laughs> and obviously, I have nothing to say. What rank were you? Rank? You know, a soldier. Oh, I was first class. Just the same as him. Same as who? My first boyfriend. You were serious? No, but I liked him for a while. I probably knew him. What was his name? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I can see why people like the you know, like they're, they're on the Aerith Cloud bandwagon. I think they're cute together. Now you can't you can't deny it. I, I think Aerith is pretty cute. So I see. They're, 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 I think our first little peek at a at a Kokobo or a Chocobo. Huh? Hey, back there, Tifa. And she's wearing a dress. What? Now, obviously, how the heck do you open that door to Sector 7? Hey, that girl in the cart was Tifa. Where was she going? And she looked kind of odd. Hmm. Wait! I'll go on alone. You you, you go home. Ah. <laughs> Apparently, Eris is way more adventurous than Cloud, which is so weird, because Cloud seemed, like, so confident in everything that he was doing before. But, obviously, um... Eris is just really, really spunky, and I like that. I think that's a good quality in a woman, so... I, I think that's just really, really cool. It's attractive. It, it, I mean, like, I sound, like, super... super, um... chauvinistic if I if like, oh, yeah, women need to be this and that, but that's not true. They, they can be whatever they want, but I feel like the spunkiness is, is an admirable quality, you know? But anyway, this is the Wall Market, not to be confused with Walmart, which is in America, obviously, and maybe it's in everywhere else. I don't know. I don't know how far Walmart's expanded, but... Anyway, this is the wall market. This place is scary in a lot of ways, especially for a girl. So, we've got to find Tifa fast. And I feel like this is a good portion, or this is a good spot to end the LP for right now. Um, when we pick up next time, um, we're going to find out what the heck we need to do in the wall market, and we're going to do it, and we're going to find some Tifa, or we're going to find Tifa, and like we're acting like she's an item. But anyway, obviously, if you guys enjoyed this par portion of the Let's Play, um, definitely feel free to click the like button if you enjoyed. And when we pick up next time, we're going to be all doing all that other stuff I talked about. Catch you guys next time. Bye.